Tonight we're hearing from a Miami firefighter who, according to city leaders, was targeted by his fellow firefighters. We're also seeing the noose that was left for him as part of a very ugly incident that has ended with six firefighters fired. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Miami with the story. Hank. Well, that by the book fire lieutenant talked to us about how he dealt with a horrible situation, what he found on his desk right here in this firehouse. Let's take a look. A noose draped over a family picture, obscene, crude, sexual images scrawled across the pictures on a city of Miami lieutenant's desk. The lieutenant, an African American, agreed to talk to us if we concealed his identity. Yeah, I'm angry, but it ain't gonna do me no good to go off and start, you know, putting my hands on people and I need to think how am I going to move forward with this and the only thing I could think of at that time was to just go ahead and initiate the process of contacting my superiors and letting them know. Six city of Miami firefighters fired, five more facing demotions or discipline. Among those sacked were William Bryson, David Rivera, Kevin Mezizo, Justin Romba, Alejandro Sesi, and Harold Santana. In his letter of termination, City of Miami officials wrote to Captain Bryson, members under your direct supervision defaced several personal photos of a fellow firefighter with graphic and obscene phallic renderings. Bryson's father, William Shorty Bryson, a former Miami and Miami-Dade fire chief who was cited by the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission for discriminating against black members when he was president of the Firefighters Union way back in 1992. As things went on and the whole investigation moved forward, it I was completely wrong in who I thought it could have been. The lieutenant had praise for the city of Miami officials and the fire department administration, who he says acted quickly when he lodged a complaint. I would want to know where did this come from, because like I like I said when I first found out the names of who was involved, I've never had a negative interaction with them. So my first question would be, why? And one question you might have, does he still work here in this facility? Well, yes, he does. The lieutenant says he never missed a day's worth of work here. And a lot of the firefighters here reached out to him, embraced him. Now, the mayor, city of Miami, Tomas Regalado, and the fire chief will be holding a press conference discussing this whole issue. That's tomorrow morning. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Tonight, back to you.